what has been the hardest part of this current isolation um, is that I haven't been able to have a hug from my mum which breaks my heart because she's not telling me that everything's going to be okay. The current situation has hit everyone hard and in many different ways uh, and for a huge number of people this is in every aspect of their lives not just their hockey or their sports club lives. For our flyers, who face greater challenges than most in everyday life, we recognise that these times can be even more difficult and more worrying. I am mum to Alexander Marsh, who is age six, and he uh, participates in the Flyers hockey programme. Alex is on the um, list of extremely vulnerable people because he has a, a metabolic condition, so that means he has to be shielded for the next uh, 12 weeks. So he can't uh, go out, outside of the house really, or certainly can't go outside of the garden, and no one can come in. For now, the normal has changed. It's not about what we cannot do, it is about what we can do. As with all community clubs at the moment, um, our flyer sections are unable to run face-to-face -face sessions. So we've really been um, overwhelmed by the attitude of, of flyers clubs in their desire to reach out to their members and families to make sure that they're able to support them, um, both socially, but, but also to ensure that they're able to stay physically active. How has me and other Flyers members cope with this situation? Um, they've helped us by putting us in a WhatsApp group and um, Facebook group um, and activities and by talking and quizzes and, which has really helped motivate me and just help me not feel so isolated. I've been doing twiddling around the ball, uh, hitting the ball to the fence and the total, all the total didn't give up to do challenges at home. My hockey club have been a bit how and she be phoning me daily. I don't have an other club be like checking challenges for up to do. So one real positive to come out of all of this is how um, amazing people have been. We've all been trying to keep each other's spirits up and I, you know I really hugely appreciate um, all of that and you know what people have offered to do because you feel you know you're not alone in all of this, you know, you've got a little bit of support. With regard to advice we would give to others working in the sector, um, the best thing that we have done is just to reach out to people and, and have a conversation. Um, we've spoken to a number of our Flyers clubs, a number of Flyers players and families and their feedback has been really helpful and it's, it's ensured that we're able to provide meaningful resources and just support that, that is really going to help them during this time. We're not too worried about the sport or, or making sure that people are playing hockey right now. We just want to make sure that people feel supported and that when the time is right, we'll all be able to get back to playing fly hockey um, and hanging out with our friends.